Now, we saw earlier uh, he knows how to uh, to make a, a crab linguine. <laughs> They're coming to land. They're coming to get you. <laughs> Show! What is... Show! Well, they're actually landing! <laughs> oh, my God! No, the whole... <laughs> His fruit's getting back. Oh, dear. Oh. I mean, what are the chances? Only on this show. I just wanted to dry my hair. Yeah, well... <laughs> was, I mean, you know, make sure it worked. For live telly. <laughs> so you're back in the safety of the studio back today the, and you're going to give us a final taste of summer, shall I'm we say? I'm glad you think this is the safety of the studio. We know anything can go absolutely wrong, so <laughs> I don't matter. Know why I said Especially that. after that kawaii <laughs> clip. I mean, who knows what could happen? <laughs> yeah, surf and turf, steak, prawns and a proper summer salad with tomatoes. Those flavours of summer that we just don't really understand how they become summer flavours. Yes. And we forget about them. Yeah. So this is a couple of tricks, really. First thing is a steak. Steak, oil the steak and then season it. Don't season it first because it draws all the liquid out of it. Ah. You put, you've, have you tied string around? Just string, string around it and hold them together so they stay and nice. These are together. Phillip steaks. Phillip yeah. steaks, most tender steak or in the world. Phillip steaks, as Phillip my steaks. kids call them. Do they? Yeah, oh. they call them. Phillip steaks. Phillip steaks. Yes, well, they do. These aren't Phillips. No, these are definitely Phillips. They are definitely not. And <laughs> when you start to cook, you want, you want it to make a proper noise. It's got to make a really good, loud noise. That's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. Keep on turning them, moving them, let them cook nice and slowly, and let them get lots of colour. That's the first bit. So you're going to do that, and we'll swap them out for some other ones we've got done already. And these have been cooking for long enough. So 10 or 15 minutes will cook you to what? To, to, to about medium rare. Will it? Yeah, yeah, medium to medium rare. Because a fillet's got no fat in it. You're cooking them in butter or oil? Oil and a tiny bit of butter to right. finish off. Oh, my gosh. But now, how do we get the flavour of prawn? Because prawn, we think about prawns and the flavour of prawn meat, actually, it doesn't really taste very much. So I've got all the residue in here for my steak. I want those flavours. You take the prawn shells. Oh. And the prawn shells, just going to put them in there for a second, and what will happen, you'll smell it pretty quickly, and they change colour very, very quickly, and suddenly there's a smell of prawns on holiday. So when you get... Oh, there is. So you know when you get prawns and you go into, like, all those little, like, European restaurants? Because they use prawn shells to make their butter first. Oh, and that's what we're doing that. here, exactly the same thing. So that's all the flavour of that. Now, the other thing, whilst these cook up a little bit, I'm going to chuck in some actual prawns themselves, which are just butterfly, and they'll cook quite quickly. Drop those in and actually let them start to cook, if my stove will allow me to, and let them really go. What are you, you going to do with this? What I'm going to take you... those prawns out, the shells out in a second. Right. But I just want to use them as a flavouring, really. That's the whole idea That's of it. That's very clever. I've never done So you really want to be buying raw prawns with the shells on? Yeah, and you know when you do a barbie at home and you have a prawn that's been cooked on the, on the barbecue with a shell, it tastes so much better. It does, yeah. It's the shell that's the important bit. So More intense, Don't isn't throw it? the shell away. Tomato salad. Salt Sorry. water, salt water uh, prawns. You can eat the shell, can't you? Absolutely. Well, you can eat all the shells, really. It's just up to you with how much you like crunching. Mm. It's up to you. Tomato salad, mm. summer salad. Tomatoes are the best right now, end of August. They're always fantastic. Wow. And when we go on holiday, we have this amazing tomato salad, which we think, how do we get that flavour? Yeah. So here's the secret. All I want you to do is get that. That's vinegar, Holly. And I want you to shake a load of vinegar across the top. A load? A load you of it. You say a load, like... Keep on going. What? Keep on going. Is this just normal vinegar? Keep on going. Or Keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, my gosh, Keep what? On going. Now stop. Sprinkle salt across the top of it and leave it. Don't touch it. What we do is we put oil on it. Yeah. But oil it masks the flavour. The vinegar activates your taste buds. Your tomatoes are nice and warm, and when you taste that, you'll actually think to yourself, no. I'm in the sunshine. How long do you leave it for? About ten minutes. Oh. I made you some chips because I know thought you might oh, get bored with these. Are unbelievable. Well, he's actually, sort of during the break, told me to stop eating them. I did, actually. They're like <laughs> little matchsticks. <laughs> they are. You put shallots on those and not normal onions. Uh... Shallots, white onions, whatever you want to do. Doesn't matter. No, a little tiny bit of parsley, just to make it nice and colourful. And I love parsley. And watercress works just as well. So if I try that now, it's going to be too, too vinegary. No, no, in about a minute or so it'll be perfect. Just turn it over in the juice, because you want the juice of the tomatoes to go to the bottom of the plate. So give it a good sort of stir around. Am I going to ruin this if I Before do this? Before you do that, oh, okay. I want you to pick this up for me. Oh. Mm. And I want you to hold it. And now smell it. Yeah, right. It smells like a greenhouse. It smells like tomatoes. Yeah, like a proper... So if you do that first with all your friends, they'll think they're proper tomatoes. That smell automatically makes mm. your brain realise. It always reminds me of my granddad because my granddad it? used to grow tomatoes in his greenhouse. Can Give I do this spur, now then? Spur around, and then when you eat it, and I was taught this by a European. Oh, make a right mess here. It looks so beautiful. Before yeah. I've near it. The shells are out. Prawns are in. Add to this a good bit of butter. 
So a nice bit of butter to my prawns. I love the, the silence of the kitchen, that's good. <laughs> a good handful of parsley and a squeeze of lemon. Oh, my God. The lemon will do two things. It doesn't it will... even taste like vinegar. No. It's, like, sweet. That it's is it. Tomatoes are sweet. What sort of vinegar is that? Just normal vinegar. Cider vinegar. That Cider is white vinegar. Cider vinegar. And as long as you don't put oil on it, you're fine. That's incredible. By putting the lemon juice in here, Isn't what it? happens yeah. is the lemon just makes those prawns again come alive really quickly. Add to that a little bit of parsley. And in the time old tradition. Look at those. Go like that. Turn them off really quickly. Always very important. Because we know how you guys are. Two plates. Philip steak and holly steak. And Philip steak and a holly steak. <laughs> there you go. That's one for me. That's a little bit for me. <laughs> Use the juices always, whatever's left, because that's where the flavour is. Wow. And now what's got is you've got the flavour of prawns in your prawn butter. Oh my, oh my gosh. God. Gracious. And then you just put those across the top. Look, this is a, this is a sort of a posh night in or whatever. But what you've got now is the flavour of being out in the sunshine, and it could be the depths of winter. Turn up the heating, put your shorts on, your flip-flops, throw some sand around your floor <laughs> and think you're in the... In the there, put some chips on. That's, That's it. incredible. There we are. Philip knows what to do. A few chips, a bit of tomato salad. Get salon. involved in this. Let's get rid of that. Right now. Oh, my oh, gosh, good that gracious. Steak. That steak's amazing. Wow. Mine never, mine never comes out like that. When I thought we were doing this, so, I'm so happy. So that the and steak's then, incredible. Mm. And the good thing is now is that if you just do the tomato salad, thing oh my really, god! Tomato salad is the way you want to do it. A little bit of vinegar. Don't put oil on your tomatoes, and just sit and to bring them to room temperature. Take them out of your fridge. Mm. Think when you go on holidays, the sun's know, always the sun's shining. Warm. Yeah. yeah, so everything's warm. That's thank delicious. You, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lovely to see you back mm. as nice well. Nice to be back. For all the recipe details, have a look at our this morning app.